Welcome to the University of Kentucky's Technology Training Quick Tips. In this video we're going to take a look at how to create a vignette effect using Photoshop's marquee tools. The vignette effect adds a shading effect around the outer edge of a photograph. We're going to take a look at using the marquee tools to create a vignette effect. From your tools panel, select the elliptical marquee tool. On your image, start in the top left corner and click and drag to draw a marquee across your entire image. Leave a little spacing around the outer edges. If it's not centered properly, once you draw the marquee tool, you can click anywhere in the center to adjust its position. You can also rescale the marquee if you want to make it larger or smaller. From the Select menu, just choose Transform Selection and then use the resize handles to adjust your marquee. Click Enter when you're happy with the results. Currently we have the interior of our image selected. In order to add shading to the outer edge, we're going to need to invert our selection. From the Select menu, choose Inverse. The last thing we need to do to our selection is add a feathering effect. The feathering effect will add a smooth edge to our selection, allowing for a nice blend of our vignette. From the Select menu, choose Modify Feather. The feather radius should be set according to how large your image is. If you have a very high quality image or a large resolution image, you would set your feathering radius a little higher. For a lower quality image, you would go a little lower. For this image, I'm going to choose 85. Once you have your feathering set, you're ready to create your vignette layer. From the Layer menu, choose New, Layer, and then click OK. Choose your desired color that you want your vignette to be. I'm going to leave mine at black. And then with your Paint Bucket tool, go ahead and fill the, the selected area to create the vignette effect. Once the vignette effect is created, go ahead and click Select and Deselect. From your layer panel, if you want to fade out your vignette a little bit, maybe not make it so dark, you can change the opacity to create a more subtle vignette. Or you can go back up to 100 to create a more solid vignette. Thank you for visiting Technology Training's Quick Tips. For more information, please visit our website.